Hello ladies and gentlemen, you join me from my car on the way to Cars and Coffee in Canterbury Park. This is day one ever of Cars and Coffee in Canterbury Park and I'm very, very excited to arrive and see how it is. So I'm starting it in the car today. I'm picking up my friend and then we're gonna go and get some energy drinks because early, it's 7.15 in the morning and uh, then I will catch up to you guys. So let's go, let's check out Cars and Coffee, Canterbury Park, Minnesota, June 2017. Give me. Energy drinks have been acquired. Everyone is rolling in. Oh yeah. Let's go to the real show though, over here. You know, I'm starting to get the feeling that there may be a couple Corvettes at the show today. Just a couple, you know, a few here and there. I don't know what to say about this, but a Plymouth Prowler with Lamborghini doors. <laughs> that, I've, I've never quite seen anything like that before. And it has the bumper delete, which makes it look a lot better. But I don't know, I, I have this weird soft spot for Prowlers. But since a lot of people hate them, I think that's kind of why I like them. But I mean, just, just look at that. I don't know, what do you guys think? I honestly have no idea what to say. I think now would be the appropriate time for a really corny back to the future pun or joke, but I can't think of one, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get your vapes ready because we're heading on into the JDM section. So let's go see what, what neat cars are around, starting with a red Supra right there. So the show, if you can see that, technically hasn't started yet, and there's still a pretty handsome amount of people here. So that's nice. It means that this venue did not go forgotten since it just changed. If you're wondering why I didn't make a video of the previous month's Cars and Coffee, it was because it was canceled and I was pretty disappointed, not gonna lie. But I think this venue is actually gonna be better than the other because it is huge. Yeah, and that's a pretty, it's a pretty huge spoiler, speaking of huge. Look at the kit on that. I'd say it's safe to say that that is a wide body. And I make it eaten alive, but I don't know what kind of kit that is. I'm sorry. But I can say, I think it's pretty cool. And black rims on the blue, very good choice. This 240Z, I believe, is all the way down to its primer, which I think is kind of cool. Nice kind of industrial look. Let's see if I can get a farther out look of it. I can dig it for sure, that's pretty cool. Look at the camber on the front wheels of that. Can you see that? Oh man. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that over there, but that is a four by four square that we're gonna have to have a closer look at. I didn't know there were any of them in Minnesota. Huh, oh damn, the zoom on this is pretty nice. But yeah, four by four squared, we'll check it out later. Look at these exhaust tips on this GTR. Pretty, pretty crazy. It's a nice spec though, I like this white. Check out this Liberty Walk kit. It's so cool, I love Liberty Walk. It is a great way to make your car look good, always. I also hear it destroys the value of your car. I don't know if you guys can see this, I'm gonna try and zoom in a little bit, but there is a line all the way out of sight down there. So I think it's safe to say this show is already a hit. Thankfully, I'm happy to hear it. This is the starting grid for the Cannonball Fun Charity Rally. And of course, it is no exception to see all of these very cool cars getting ready to begin this one day journey around Minnesota. And I wish I could be joining him today, but sadly I can't. This marvelous white Ferrari 458, or sorry, 488. I like the 488 more than the 458. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I stay true to my word. 488, better than 458. And a cheeky 12C hanging around with the very unconventional doors that go out like that. Of course, typical for McLaren and looking very, very nice. This very cool 
I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the they're racing red on this Julia Quadrifoglio. And it looks very, very, very nice. I don't know much about these, but I do know that they are typical Alfa Romeos in their design and their reliability. It would be awful of me to forget this Porsche Carrera GT that shows up on almost every Cars and Coffee. And they are absolutely just beautiful. I love the Carrera GT. And a cool little detail that I found out recently is the top of the shifter on there, the gear stick, is a special kind of wood that's very important to Porsche. I'm not entirely familiar what it is, but it is one of the few things on a Carrera GT that was made without regard to weight saving. And of course, the single bracket on the, on the wheels, red on this side, blue on the other, and the absolutely massive engine in the back. Beautiful car, an awesome piece of engineering, and still pretty damn fast, even for today's standards. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is a Mercedes-Benz G-Class 4x4 squared, and it is absolutely massive. They are just unbelievable. I know that Brabus offers a kit for one of these, and it is not cheap. And it gives it a little bit of a, gives it some effects right on the top there. For no reason, really. But man, I mean, you are really eye to eye with fire trucks and school buses in one of these. And that really is something. It's a Bent Bentley Continental GT, of course, in a convertible. And just look at the leather. All the premium leather in one of these is just unbelievable. These things weigh the, the same as most mountains for a reason. Now, I would imagine the ride quality in one of these is positively unmatched because they are truly something to look at. This was in one of my videos from last year, but I always have to comment on this super cool red carbon fiber on this V12 Vantage S. I mean, it is just unreal. And of course, the grill is surrounded by red carbon fiber. Man, that is such a cool spec. I still am not totally sure if that is something that comes with the spec. That's not a very popular option. Because if it is, I'm surprised I have not seen that before because that is absolutely so cool. Another new addition to Cars and Coffee this year is the amount of food trucks that are here and I don't quite know what to get. I might get something, I might not, I don't know. Maybe, a, how about a refreshing drink? And this one that says refreshing drinks. A super cool spec on this Ferrari 360 Modena. Very, very cool spec with the yellow. I don't know if this may have been an aftermarket option. I heard that it's not. I don't think it is because it's got the Ferrari Challenge uh, tires on it, but it is awfully reminiscent of a Challenge Stradale. It's 3.6 liter V8, I believe is what it is. And they really are something special. These cars are really And of course, I wouldn't have it any other way than a six speed manual gated shifter, because why not? <laughs> These pretty crazy red halo lights on this Infinity here. I'm sorry, I don't know the model name, but it's got the red crossbar over the engine block there as well. Very cool, you know, I'm not, I don't usually get the whole appeal of Infinities, but I'm not gonna lie, I quite like this one. G37S, there it is. Very cool though, I like it. I dig it. Cheeky BMW i8 right there. It is very sharp. And I believe the only blue accents around are in the headlights, around the logos, and inside. Which is very cool. I like that. I like the blue accents, but a change from the norm is always welcome. This is an absolutely massive camping van, is all I can, is all I can say about it. And I don't know what it is. All I'm seeing is badging that says Vixen on it. So I don't know if that's Vixen SC, or XC rather. I mean, it looks super Japanese, but I may be totally wrong. But look, it's got an entire bed right there. That's crazy. That is so cool. 
Of course, you can't show the entire rear wheel. That would just be, that would not be classy. A Lamborghini Mercy Lago has arrived on the Cannonball Fun grid with the hugest deep dish wheels I believe I've ever seen. Oh man, that is quite the, uh, quite the car. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous, but I kind of like it. McLaren 675 LT, rolling on in. Very, very, very nice. I love LTs. This is a Lotus Elise. And not this exact car, but a car very similar to this will be mine next summer. And I am so excited. Now every time I see one of these, I get a little too excited. Oh man, this blue is so cool. I've never seen the, like a deep blue like this before. I'm trying to decide what color I want to do it. If you want to have, make a suggestion, let me know. Drop it in the comments. So there it is. Lotus Elise. And I'm very jealous right now because I want it for this summer, but I can't have it. All right, well that concludes it for Cars and Coffee, June 2017 in the new venue. It was very nice, much bigger than before, and I'm excited to see what happens next. But as for now, I'm heading out, gonna get some brunch, and uh, then go on with the day. So I'll see you guys next time. I don't know if it'll be before or at the next Cars and Coffee, but I'll see you then. So, adios.